So the next day on Lefkada, we got back in the car and headed south in the hope of getting some amazing views of the cliffs and the sea. So we've basically driven out to the tip of, an, of this island, right to the land's end, um, where a lighthouse is. It was quite a fun drive actually. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. The road actually is really good standard, but then I guess it has to be, doesn't it, if there's a lighthouse that needs maintaining or whatever. Oh, it is this, this one. There's no wind, the sun is out, and the sea is just ridiculous blue. It's it's really nice to be on here, you know, we only have one planet and this is what you do to explore it. Uh, lovely job, Lee. There's a bit of a car crash, a car, not crash, a car drive to a wall, a mountain wall here. Um, and let's just go and see if we can help pull it out. But there's like five guys there and I don't think it's happening. So what happened? Well someone's crashed into the wall basically. They've either gone down too fast and it was local. Crashed into the barrier, into the, this side, so the safe side, not the cliff side. And um, then they were trying to lift it and pull it out and I was going to help but then they all abandoned that idea by the time I got there because he was just revving it but the wheels, the, the, uh, the, I think he snapped the, the drive shaft or whatever so like whatever the engine's doing it's not connected to the front wheels anymore so he's just revving it because he sparks so something's obviously snapped and you're just making metal on metal it's not, you know, it's not geared or meshed together properly so he's just making sparks and there's lots of, lots of black smoke and I was going like well Jesus well, I'm just going to walk away from this because you're going to create an explosion so there's a waterfall in this area but I think it might just be a fall because I don't think there's any water at the minute towards the middle of October but it has looked like it has rained upon the hills and we have had rain recently but this whole river system is as dry as a bone we walk we work we work hard, we work hard, fun guys. It's quite dramatic. And uh, it is quite a privilege to walk into a dried up watery place. So there's no one here really, so it's good, but there's no water either. That's bad. But that's why people come in the summer, or early summer. And the water's still there from the winter rains. We then left Lefkada and headed north to the national park of Zumerka, Peristeri and Akathos, hoping to explore some of the mountainous regions you can find in mainland Greece. Sometimes you get stuck behind a lorry and you're not supposed to overtake and it's impossible anyway, it's so dangerous to overtake. Like a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. If you too. We're high up now, aren't we? It's an impressive mountain. So impressive, and then you just go walk all the way down the.
cute little hillside room. They have a camping place. Or basically people go skiing, I think. It looks like a lodge. Um, that's my view. I don't know if she's able to lift that really big one. <laughs> she said she wanted to do it, don't judge me. There she goes. She's never lifting that one. You're not lifting that. Oh, there she goes. She's got it. Look at that! I thought this would be the case. We had a, ha a really massive uh, lightning and thunderstorm last night. Thunder and lightning and lots of rain up on these mountains and it turns out now. But actually, if you go further south, it's raining again like Athens. So we're kind of in the best place really. Came here overnight and now it's nice again. Well then you. Hi. I didn't think they were going that heavy. I'm out of the breath. So beautiful that cloud just moving in. The dressing a bit warmer, it's only 12 degrees. <laughs> Got a little sign pointing us down to the river. Oh my god. Well I slipped! Because the rock was slippery and I went on to HOI. Are you crazy? It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Fine. I didn't know. Chilling, playing the lavender. So we're going to try and do this hiking route in our crappy trainers. I feel like we need to interact with cameras more. Yeah. I feel like we need to interact more like hi! <laughs> oh my god, that's the Jesus most American the weirdest thing you did. <laughs> Last night's store was made it very muddy looking. Yeah, yeah because it's just rain. Yeah.
you can swim in his clothes or what? I don't want to fall in, I don't know how deep it is. How much way did I go? Along here, I think. Yeah, along here. Here, slippery. Then on to here. And then, oh, shite. Then on to here. Look at me, influencer, by waterfall. Who would have thought? Whoa. We can't exactly remember where we took these shots, but we wanted to have a go at getting some views by walking up some of these windy and rather chilly mountains. Well, it feels like you're on top of the world. Yeah. The plan then was to head down the mountains to our next hotel in Coquina Nero. But little did we know, a storm was heading towards Greece. We passed the Metacora Dam and decided to stop and investigate. The first thing that struck us was that behind the dam was completely empty and we could see that it had the capacity to produce electricity. It turns out that this dam's construction was completed in 2001, but the reservoir still hasn't been filled. Upon further reading, this apparently is due to legal opposition regarding the environmental impacts that diverting the Akelos River, which is roughly 600 million cubic metres of water per year, which would flood villages, destroy communities and natural habitats. The reason to divert the river is motivated by the cotton industry in the Fisali region, which is to the east, as they need more water to irrigate the water-hungry cotton plants. Cymru, or Wales, has also had its own history regarding dam construction and the impacts they have on communities. Cofiwch Trowerin, meaning Remember Trowerin, is a slogan that reminds us that Trowerin Valley was flooded to fill a reservoir, causing the community known as Capel Kellin one of the last Welsh-only speaking communities to be lost, and all of this so it could provide water for the industries in Liverpool, which is in England, the country next door. We have provided links in the description below about both of these dams and their histories. So we're heading east, uh, we're coming out of the mountains, but we've hit like really dense rain and fog. It's very difficult to see, and because there's like rocks on the road and potholes, it's just very difficult, uh, but we are moving down and down and down, so hopefully by the time we get near the bottom, the, uh, the rain will have stopped. Oh, 
morning, morning lights. Well, we got through the rain and we're in the hotel. Thank God. I, th I swear, like, things just don't want me to go places. It's like, <laughs> it rained and it rained, yeah. but it's okay now. I, there was some on the news, like, they were talking a lot in Greek about the weather today. And obviously a fairly decent amount of rain has hit the country. So this is a strange place. We came here to um, stay basically at a hotel and it was really raining really badly. But luckily we managed to catch um, managed to catch the hotel owner like randomly driving around and he said, Oh you want to do hotel? And yeah yeah yeah. And that was the right hotel. And then we went to his plaza cafe restaurant and that was an interesting night. You know, like smoking in there and <laughs> like we just reminded me of like Machenka in the late nineties, early two thousands, when you could still smoke indoors or there's a smoking side and a non smoking side. We had a decent, actually, decent food and uh, we ate that and had a few beers and a bit of wine and then... Um, interesting evening. <laughs> yeah, it was really good too. It was full of just strange characters. And then we, um, and then we woke up this morning and we've had a little walk around. We want to go up a mountain that's behind the little seaside resort. Found some friends. Haven't we? Hmm? <laughs> I would take you home if I could. You've asked you though. You asked me. This kind of thing we can. Mm -hmm. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like that though. Poor thing. Yeah, he's been fighting that one. Yes. Hello. 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 And this is leaving with his dogs. I would take them all home. I can't. Boy. Oh my god. I love you too much already. He's trying to herd me. Yeah. I've got to get past him, haven't I? No, you're not, you're not, you're not. They won't, they're very friendly, but if they ram the car, then that's it. Because they've got cars. Hopefully I can, what's the word, I can uh, Make it come on time. Yeah. Try to... If I move like that, it'll be fine. They're used to cars, they just don't just want to turn on me. Because it'll get very, very... Don't, don't attack me when I pass the car. Don't attack me when I pass the car. Don't, you're used to the cars, come on. Keep an eye on that back right one, because I put my foot down. Oh, this is a Not a good sign. They're well behaved. Yeah, they're well behaved. It's a bit cloudy up here. Very cold. I knew it'd be cold, but I didn't think it'd be cloudy. I didn't think it's going to be that cold. It's no. like 
I don't know, five degrees? Oh, the weather said it would clear up, but now it's changed. Like, because oh, there's yeah. a big storm or, or, I don't know, a big, a lot of pre low pressure over Greece. But it looked like it was clearing. I think it still will clear, but just not as quickly as we'd hoped. Like, it said it would be, like, yesterday it said it'd be clear by 12. But, like, it's like quarter to 12 now. There's no time to sit around. And there's no sign of it clearing, so... We'll get some nice views now on the way back down with the GoPro. Go somewhere else. Oh, we'll go somewhere else. Change the plans. We don't know where we're going because we've got no internet up here. Mm. <laughs> we're in Vossos and I'm tired. Vossos. Vossos. Watching the fishes. There's loads here. They all wait for food, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Look at these lads. Yes. <laughs> Another room. Very cool and quirky. Yeah. 